Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about a modular housing system that I'm working on. Um, make sure you check out my previous videos just so you know what I'm doing. Okay, so for this system, I decided to use aluminium profile. Um, I thought it was the most versatile material. It's uh, widely available, it suppliers all over the world. Um, you know, and here's some, some examples of things which you can build with aluminium profile. Um, you know, it's used, it's not really used for building houses, but you know, as you can see, people build, use it to build clean rooms and enclosures and things like this. And you've got all kinds of accessories to choose from, handles and door handles and feet and um, locks and all kinds of stuff. So it's a pretty good material. Uh, so what I've done is I've designed a system that can be used outdoors, okay? So this one, uh, and of course it's modular. So you've got your corner panels here, uh, you've got your floor panels, and then you've got your roof panels and it also has a, a modular drainage system modular drainage system um, and so everything theoretically just you know you, the, the corner panels just slot on and then the uh, and then the roof panel slot onto that so it fits together a bit like Lego and then from the inside you can tighten it up with an allen key so at, with regards to the drainage system uh, it just uses uh, at the moment just uses uh, u-channel could be pvc u-channel or aluminium u-channel and the water runs down here and drains through the drains through uh, these pipes here and they could be theoretically connected together and you could collect rainwater and whatever you know um, in terms of insulation it allows for uh, the, the <coughs> Excuse me. Allows for about 70 mil insulation on the floor. You can get away with a bit more because you've you put your insulation in. Um, and then you've got the, a wooden board that goes over top, over the top, and then you've got uh, you, you can have rubber flooring, rubber rubber tiling or something like that. Will provide a little bit extra insulation. Um, with regards to whether or not 70 mil is enough, I don't know. I'm not an architect. Um, hopefully it is. Um, now with regards to the panels, now of course on the roof panels you could have solar panels. Um, this uses, this design is using just acrylic, you know, acrylic sheets. Um, one, you know, you could, it could be mirrored. Uh, one thing, one idea that which I think would be nice it would be to have um, infinity mirrors, you know, because you can have two one-way mirrors facing each other and you have a light inside and what this does is it creates a spacious effect. Um, which would be quite nice if you're living in a fairly confined space. It creates this illusion that you're living, it creates this illusion that it's in a in a much larger space. Space, and I think it would be, just be a really cool effect as well. Um, so yeah, not the cheapest material, and especially since it's modular as well, that makes it even more expensive because you end up just uh, um, with sort of duplicate material. Uh, then again, that will improve the structural integrity of the design. Um, but you're saving a lot of money because it's easy to uh, easy to build. You you know you can theoretically build it in an hour. You you know you order it online, turns up in the van. You know uh, put it up within an hour. You can easily maintain it. You know um, anytime you can easily extend it. Um, you know there's a lot of advantages to this kind of system. It doesn't require any specialized skills. The only thing that's required to build it is an Allen key. That's it. That's the only tool that you need, as far as I'm aware. Um, so yeah that's that's the uh that's the basic idea um i'll leave it there thanks for watching